love, happy weekend. Welcome back to Block TV News, and I'm your girl Lex, and this is your weekly wrap up. Jason Momoa said that he and his wife were broke and struggling once he was released from Game of Thrones. And he said he had no idea what he was gonna do if Aquaman didn't come his way. Jason, honey. Jason. Uh, you know, you could have stayed with your girl Lex, you know, if you wanted to. Yes, sir. And, you know, you could bring Lisa. Lisa could come. Why don't you bring Lenny Kravitz, too, while you're at it? What were we talking about? The Weeknd gets the nod to perform at the Pepsi halftime show during the Super Bowl. Are you here for it? Nope. If you're not, let us know who you are here for in the comment section below. Cardi B had to apologize to the entire Hindu culture. Here's why. Cardi B, as you know, has a new Reebok line that she's releasing, which yes, bitch is good. But the thing is, she used the image of the Hindu goddess Durga in her promotions. So as far as I know, Cardi's not Hindu. Obviously, that was a no-go with the people who are actually a part of the culture. And so she had to issue an apology. But, you know, she said that she didn't mean to offend anybody. You know, she didn't mean any harm by it. And that she can't change what she's done in the past. But she can go forward and aim to be way more sensitive to things like this in the future. So, apparently, Chris Brown has started a OnlyFans. What? So, was Kevin Hart lying? Former actor best friend JT Jackson says, a uh, you? Yeah. Apparently, Kevin Hart was making up the whole story about the extortion thing with JT Jackson because he wanted to distract everybody from the fact that he cheated on his pregnant baby mama. I'm sorry, hunty, but no. no. Not so fast. We know you did it. Sabrina Parr says that her and Lamar are over. Then, after two days with struggling with the live bill, Sis announces their reunion. <laughs> Pastor John Gray, for the third time, was caught cheating on his wife. And for the third time, he apologized. You might want to, like, reevaluate your marriage situation because I don't think that's working out. No. <laughs> J-Lo shows that her beef with Rosie Perez is still very much so alive. Apparently, after 65 years or something, she feels still that she was the one that took Latinas out of the maid type, secondary type roles that Rosie Perez created. J-Lo, listen, I have all the respect for you in the world, but you cannot come for Queen Rosie like that. She's a pioneer for Latina women. And as a Latina woman myself, hunty, you need to be humble and sit down. All right, y'all, that is this week's weekly wrap up. If you have any comments or questions, you guys know you can hit up that comment section below. Please like and subscribe and share this with your friends. I'm your girl Lex, and this is Black TV News. Bye. Pastor John Craig. <laughs> with the light bill for a couple days and all of a sudden they announced their reunion. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Sabrina Park. Hey! Hey, you guys. Did you miss me? Type yes in the comments.